Guys, good day to you. It's Shane Head coming to you for Pop Sales, also known as Pop Yachts. And we're coming to you from just south of Tyler, Texas today. Bullard, Texas to be exact, on beautiful Lake Palestine. And we've got a nice shade to work with here today. We're here on the boat dock. This is a 2019. This is the Tahoe Limited 700. This is a 21-foot bow rider from Tahoe. It does have the 4.5 liter Mercruiser inboard outboard. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you a quick walk around, show you the condition. If you're interested in seeing this boat in person, you'd like to make an offer, or perhaps even get pre-approved for financing, we can help you with all that. Just call the number below on your screen or reach out directly to me, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851. We'll be glad to get things going for you. So we're gonna do a quick walk around here, show you the external condition of the boat, and then we'll get inside and show you the interior. So a really great color combination. Navy blue with white trim on, on, white on the bottom and top with some nice red accent striping to give it a really, really clean, classic look. Of course, you've got a nice extended swim platform back here. It does have sea deck material, swim ladder. You've got a tow hook on the back. You've got a kind of a transom area sun pad or aft lounge, as you can call it. Underneath, of course, you being an inboard outboard, you do have the Mercruiser Alpha 1. It does have the stainless steel prop. So you can see the hole's in really good condition. A few little minor scuffs and scrapes here on the rub rails where they're supposed to be, but overall the gel coat, everything on the boat still looks really good. You got pull out cleats that make it easy to tie down or tie up at the dock. A couple of places here where there's a little bit of dock rash on the bottom of the graphics. Again, just cosmetic. There's no hull damage whatsoever with that. We'll go ahead and walk around here to the other side of the boat, of course, being a bow rider, you do have that nice bow seating. Interior looks really great, and we'll get to that here in just a second. We'll give you another kind of a broadside view. Walk through windshield, bimini top. There is a trailer that goes with this boat. We'll go ahead and switch you out to a wide angle. Again, a little bit of dock rash down here on the bottom where these graphics are at. And some of that will buff out, some of it won't, but again, it's not into the gel coat, so it's really just surface scratches. And I would just consider that normal normal boat wear and tear, but no real damage to the hole. So you can see the skag on the out drives in good shape, props in good shape. No issues with the structure supports underneath the swim platform itself. Before we actually get in the boat, we'll give you kind of an overview going in. Of course, you've got, you've got nice seating here across the back, a bench seat in front of the engine compartment. You've got those swivel captain style seats for driver and passenger up here at your main helm. And of course that mentioned earlier, bow seating. So we'll go ahead and transition to the interior. All right guys, so we've transitioned here to the interior of the boat, a really nice place to be. As you can see, you've got a matching color scheme uh, with the outside of the boat. Upholstery looks to be in really good condition. I always like to look at the piping on the seats. That's always one of the first places you'll notice wear and tear is around that edge where that stitching is, as you can see on this seat, in really good shape. Maybe it needs a little bit of a wipe down, but other than that, I would say this, the upholstery still looks really great. Um, I would say normal wear and tear for its age, certainly uh, very serviceable. Same way with your sun pad back here over the engine cover. Up here on the console, or the helm rather, for the driver's area, lots of room, standard mechanical throttle with your power trim and tilt, all your master switches, courtesy lights, horns, bilge pump, blower, all the normal accoutrement that you normally see on a boat. Seller has added this nice Garmin GPS depth finder unit here. It will be included with the boat, and of course, you've just got your standard gauges as far as your trim up and down switches, your water temperature, fuel gauge, etc. You do have a nice kicker Bluetooth audio sound system here with the boat, as well as a nice deep kind of glove compartment here that also has power outlets in it as well for you. Nice walk through windshield. Moving up here to your bow area seating. Now I've got more pictures in the ad and there is a link to that here in the video description that you can take over to the Pop Sales or Pop Yachts website. You can see all the pictures, all the specifications from the manufacturer and you can really drill down at your leisure and look at much more detail. But for purposes of keeping the video relatively short, we're just giving you a great overview here. 
walk through windshield. We got a bimini top here. We'll have pictures of that in the video as well. You do have a snap in C deck material. Guys, everything looks good. A little bit of normal wear and tear here on the rear part. There's a couple of snaps that are missing, but everything's still intact. Actually still works pretty good. You've got a nice built in ice chest under here. I have all over here, storage here. And then of course we've got your engine compartment here with plenty of pictures underneath on that. So there you have it guys. It is the Tahoe 700 Limited here at Pop Sales. Again, if you wanna see this in person, you've got some general questions, you wanna go ahead and make an offer or even get pre-approved for financing, you can give us a call at the number you see below in your screen. You can also reach out directly to me, Shane Head. I'm the local rep. My phone number is 903-293-3851. So from Lake Palestine, just south of Tyler, Texas, the Pop Yachts. Shane Head saying thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and fire this 4.5 liter Mercruiser 200 up for you real quick just to let you see if she is running. Really quiet motor. Has a nice exhaust note coming out the back though. You can see the exhaust manifolds and risers are completely rust free. All your piping and plumbing going out to your exhaust looks great. No water or oil anywhere here in the build. As you can see, it's super clean. No shakes, rattles, or rolls as they say. Guys, we do want to make mention that it does have a very easy to put up bimini top. So we just got it popped open. We don't have it pulled real tight. Just wanted to kind of see, let you see the coverage area. So you get out there on the water and you want to escape those sun rays. Super easy to put up. It's got straps for the front there to kind of tighten it up, keep it in good shape. There's also, if you see this in the floor, we've just kind of got it spread out. There is a zip in kind of like we like to call a, a changing room or something you could put a small portable toilet in a little privacy screen so if you wanted to do that you see that a lot on pontoon and tri tune boats where they'll have the little pop-up changing room that serves kind of the same purpose it just zips in here in the top and makes a little private room here right in the middle of the boat